The Father, our Lord, and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Often when we have a reading from the book of Jonah, we focus on the person of Jonah. And why the literature? There's all sorts of stuff. He goes in the big fish. He's the central character of the story. At one point, at the end, he acts like a whiny brat, kind of like some of my confirmation students do <laughs> from time to time. But I want to take a moment to actually talk about God in the book of Jonah. Because God calls Jonah to be his prophet, to go to the city of Nineveh. And that's no surprise. The Bible is filled with God calling prophets. We're called to be prophets. We're called by God as disciples of Jesus Christ to go and proclaim the word of God. But here's the thing about Jonah. God calls Jonah to be his prophet, and Jonah runs the complete other direction. Like as far away as you can go the other way from what God told him to go. And you know that phrase, fool me once, shame on me, fool me twice, shame on you? Here, God, despite the fact that Jonah has gone the opposite way, God turns around and calls him again. Calls him again. Like if you were going to build a deck on your house, and you paid somebody to build that deck, and they didn't show up to build that deck, would you call them again and say, you know, you didn't do it the first time, you didn't want to paint it, you want to do it the second time, and I'll pay you again? No, it sounds stupid, right? You'd probably take them to court to get their money back, right? If you did that. But here, God calls Jonah again. Despite the fact that Jonah had ignored his call and disobeyed his call and almost got people killed by running away, God calls Jonah again. What does that tell us about God? It tells us... <laughs> That God doesn't give up on us despite our mistakes. That God has use for us as his servants in the world, even when we mess up. Because what happens is we often, when we mess up in the world, we think that God views us as worthless. Right? When we make a big mistake, when we do something that we know is contrary to who we are and contrary to our faith, so often we think, well, now God doesn't want anything to do with me anymore. Or... I can't be any use to God. We think ourselves worthless. The world does a really good job of making us feel worthless when we make mistakes. We do a really good job of making each other feel worthless when we make mistakes. But the thing about God is God's not us. God is a God that is full of compassion and grace, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. And through the work of Jesus Christ, God has forgiven us all of our sins. After all, his son would eat with sinners and tax collectors. And he would call those same sinners and tax collectors to be his disciples. And the same is true for you. You are called by God to be his prophet in the world, not because you're perfect, but because you are saved through Christ. And you're going to mess up big time. You're going to mess up big time. But God's going to be there anyways. God's going to keep calling you anyways. And no matter what the world says you are, God is not going to look upon you as worthless. God is going to look upon you as a loved and redeemed child of God, called to go out in the world and share God's love and compassion and grace and acceptance and hope with everyone. No matter your mistakes. No matter what you've done. See, the story of Jonah reminds us that God doesn't give up on us. Not ever. God will keep calling and calling and loving and loving and saving and hoping and walking with you always. For that, you can say thanks be to God. Amen.